today is Friday and we are back again to do our usual what we usually do on Fridays yes today I'm just going to show you how to design a label for honey yes a product or any kind of label that you want to design yes so today I just want to take you through on how to design a label for honey yes so let's just go to our Photoshop yes like this and the next thing I have to do is to create a document for that a size of a document for that you get that so first of all just come and create a new document and this particular document i'm going to use seven seven by two inches and that one i'll rename it ray ray love yes and then i'll click ok and this is what i'll have over there so the next thing i have to do is to create a background for it so i'll come and click on my adjustment layer and then i'll add a gradient to it then i'll click on over there then i'm going to choose this particular gradient over there then i'll click ok so the style i'll change it to radar then uh, the reverse i'll reverse it and then the angle i'll just change it to painting you get that then i'll click ok just like this so the next thing I have, again i have to do is to go and import in the image by going to file then i'll come and place a link then i'm going to look for the image over here then i'll just click ok then i'll have it like this so <coughs> alhamdulillah sorry and the next thing i have to do again is to just transform it so that it will fill that particular uh, gradient over there sorry let me just import it back again i just make some mistake in it so i'll just have it like that and then i'll just transform it just like this you get that don't worry i'm out make changes to it so i just fill it up just like this for the tutorial sake my computer is disturbing me so we just have to have more patience with it. so then I'll have it just like this and the next thing I have to do is to change the blinding mode to soft light over there and then I'll just reduce the opacity to somewhere 74 just like this for me it's okay for me so the next thing I have to do is come and pick my re rectangular marking tool over here then I'm going to draw something like this just something like this and then over there I'll change the color to white just like this okay yes and I'll have it just like this. So, and that one should be in the middle. You see, that is in the middle. You see the guidelines over there. Yes. Then I'll have it like this. And then the next thing I have to do again is to write something there. So I'll call that one Ray. Really, sorry. Ray Love. Okay. Yes. And then I'll have it somewhere here. And I'll change the color to black just like that okay yes and i'll have it black just like this okay and then i'll make my listing to somewhere 36 36 i want all to enter okay 36 yes and then uh the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate the real off by pressing ctrl g and that duplicate i'll move it down down here you get it yes and that one i'll they reduce the opacity to somewhere 16 it will be okay okay let's stop at 16 so the next thing i have to do is to press ctrl t and then over this place i'll hold ctrl and just drag it down just like this down like this, like this. you get it yes i just want to have uh, the person doesn't have a logo but i just want to make some kind of logo for him to, yes then i'll just make it somewhere like that so that the thing will appear well for me then I'll just make it just like this, okay? Yes, I'll have it like this, okay? So the next thing again I have to do is to write organic over there. Organic, oh, organic, yes. Then I'll have it just like this, and then I'll transform it to somewhere 11, will be okay for me, and that one should be somewhere here. And I'll give it a background of black, just like this. And then I'll change the background to black. You get that? And I'll make the text to white, just like that. And then the open my characters, the bold, I'll change it to somewhere this. Okay, medium will be okay for me. And I'll make it capital or capital, just like that. Okay just like this okay and the next thing I have to do again is to write honey honey just like this it's not counted because that is text is white so 
I'll make it just like this and I'll choose some color to it and then I'll make it just like this and then for that one I have to make the distance so bold and then I'll change the font to let me see which font will I use which font will I use okay so let's just walk through and let's see what kind of font we are going to use for that particular label and it will be nice for us yes i'm still searching for my font and i'm not getting to the right font but let's just pause uh, this thing and i'll have to increase it just like this okay yes and the next thing i have to do is to go over and place another link and that one i'm going to use this particular image over there and that one i'll just transform that one to down just like this transform it just like that and it, it should be very small for me okay that, yes and then that one i'll move it somewhere here and this one should be somewhere there and i'll make it so good so that people can see the honey right up just like this and this one should be like this okay yes and then this particular this thing i'll just move it this, this little bit like this and then i'll add some effect to it so i'll come and rationalize the layer over there then i'll come over to filter then i'll come to distort then i'll come to ripple just over there you get that so this particular place i'll make it 99 and then this one should be okay the medium is okay for me and then i'll click ok yes you can see that kind of effect over there yes so the next thing again i have to do again is that i want to add something to that particular background layer so i'll come to adjustment layer then i'll come and pick levels over there so the levels i'll just move it inner 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 then i'll have somewhere 94 okay 94 just like this okay then i'll have it just like that okay yes and then the next thing i have to do is to go and open up uh, a distance that i'm going to use some information that i just saved so i'll have it just like this so i'll come and pick uh, this one benefits health benefits yes then that one i'll just come and paste it somewhere here and then i'll change the font to copies and i'll make it somewhere 12 and then i'll have it just somewhere here okay and then i'll uh, let me just change the color to black for now so that you can be seeing what, what i'm doing so I'll come and copy this one over there and then I'll just come and drag my text layer my text to just like this and then I'll change the size to somewhere 8 so that everything will appear for me but however I just have to drag it this way then I'll have it just like this okay so let me zoom it out and then we just make some changes to it so I'll have it just like this and then I'll make it six and then I'll have it just like this and then I'll increase it to semi bold and then the wideness I just have to wide it up so that it will look so distant okay so let me use 12 will be okay for me then I'll have it somewhere here and this one should be somewhere here and then I'll add a background shape to that particular distance over there and then I'll change that particular color some kind of color just like this okay and then i'll move this one on top and i'll change the font color to white then i'll have it just like this to be over there and the next thing i have to do again is to go and place another link over here that's the barcode and then i'll just transform that one to down and i'll bring this somewhere here again you get that yes and then this uh, this image this things i'll just move that one on top a little bit yes so that it should be all should be in the middle so that the cutting will not happen so 
let's just see if our work just like this and then we'll see if our work just like that okay then the next thing i have to do again is to draw a shape a circular shape just like this okay and then i'll change the color to red then i'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl g and i'll come over my distance then the field i'll close it and then the, the what is the name the stroke i'll on it then i'll make it white and i'll make my size four and then i'll choose this particular dot this thing over there and then i'll zoom it out and then i'll just transform it by holding shift alternate then i'll hope make it like this okay and then i'll just come and copy it, this 100 percent natural over there and i'll come and paste it somewhere there okay paste it somewhere there. then i'll cut it out just like this okay then i'll have it in just like this and then i'll change what is the name i'll change the distance to sector like this and over this place i'll make some changes to it so that it will go just like that okay yes and i'll have it like this and then i can make it come somewhere here it's okay for me then i'll click okay yes so we are just getting to the end of the tutorial and i know you understand something in it you know there are certain things i just want you to get how i guess and certain things that just like like something like this like yes so we just have to bear in mind that we get everything clear yes and i'll have it just like this and then this particular place will be okay for me so that when you are wrapping it around anything it will look so beautiful yes so that is how we design a simple label for a honey uh, organic uh, what is the organic honey yes it's 100 percent natural nothing is added it's, it's lovely yes thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and have a nice day bye bye